I'm Ravi, Ravindran Vasu. I'm actually based uh, Regional Sales Director at Search Inform and I'm based in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I hope uh, you guys are familiar with uh, Southeast Asia. <clears throat> so the, the whole idea for our uh, presentation today is for what the new workplace is going to look after the pandemic, the current pandemic that we're going through, because as you know, all of us are affected. You know, some of us are working from home. Some of us can go into the office on a, maybe an alternate basis or weekly basis and so on. So uh, there has been a lot of uh, concerns, especially for companies who are dealing with uh, sensitive data and also for companies who would like to monitor their employees and so on. So. Uh, we at Search Inform, the problem that uh, we see our clients or potential clients are facing is during this pandemic, the problem mainly has been how do you optimize employees' productivity while uh, they are working at home? Um, how do you control and predict your human resource risk? Because most of the time, um, the employees may not be connected to their corporate network. They could be working from their home internet. And uh, so how do we control this risk? Uh, there's a lot of risk right now because some employees only go to work like three times a week. Uh, some go on a weekly basis, but they still have to work, whether it's two times a week or three times a week, they still need to work and they still need access to corporate data. Because without corporate data, without having something to work with, then uh, we can't be productive, you see. So what, are this, what is the solution that we have? Basically, we need to look at to protect all communication channels, especially uh, when an employee is using their corporate uh, laptops. Uh, what type of activity are they doing from home? Are they working? Are they being productive? Um, are they doing some other side in uh, business or something like that. So this is the problem. And the solution that we have basically can protect all these communication channels, especially when employees are communicating via email and so on. So information security while working remotely is a technical issue. Uh, for example, I'm working from home right now. So the use case is I need to be connected to my corporate VPN. So how do we ensure that the corporate VPN can take all this traffic because we are not used to this pandemic before. Uh, and VPN tunnels has to be created to ensure that the employees who are working from home, they are able to connect to this uh, corporate network to have access to their file servers and so on. So how do we ensure that this information is secure while employees are working remotely? These are basically technical issues to ensure that First of all, uh, employees have access to their corporate laptop. They can take this back home. And when they need to work, they must be able to at least connect to a VPN tunnel back to their corporate network. Because otherwise, they are unable to connect to access certain files and folders and so on. And of course, the other way is to work via terminal server. So there are a few options in place. These are all technical issues. As you might know, many companies are not well prepared for this situation right now that we are facing. Uh, they all have a lot of concerns when it comes to allowing employees to work from home. So some of these concerns, basically, we have to be able to uh, address. So what should be done generally? Because uh, we are not sure how long more we are going to be working from home, how long there is going to be rotations and so on. Um, you know, when is this going to really end? We are not sure about that. Nobody knows for sure. Probably only when a vaccine has been found, then uh, uh, we can all be sure that, you know, uh, we can end this whole pandemic and go back to our normal lives. But in a corporate environment, a company has to ensure there's always connection to internal services via VPN. Because you have file servers, you have certain applications running in the office, like for example, your financial systems, your human resource systems, and so on. So in order to 
connect to these services because human resource has to run, uh, salaries has to be paid, financial systems has to run because payments has to be made, payments need to be collected. So we need to ensure there is a very stable VPN that can take all this traffic because a lot of people are going to be working from home. And services and applications, HR systems, financial systems, and so on, must be available outside the office and the bandwidth. Okay, this is where uh, a lot of companies are facing challenges. Why? Because uh, they never expected this to happen. And then now you need good bandwidth for enough communication. Otherwise, you'll have drop connections and all this kind of stuff. And right now, when you look at a company, not everyone is working on a daily basis. So service availability must be configured. You must ensure that services are available at all times because people are working from home. They can't just, uh, for example, in my case now, I can't just go to my office to access files or something like that. I just can't do that because um, there's a lockdown, uh, movement is controlled and all these kind of things. So how are people going to go back to their office? It's not easy. So all this should be done before you even allow employees to start work from home because it's very important. First of all, the availability of service. Secondly, the security. So we need to ensure all these are basically being monitored. So I'm sure a lot of you guys um, who are with us today and also your clients, your and so on, uh, whoever who is uh, basically involved in uh, using computer laptops services on a daily basis. Uh, this has to be done in, uh, in at once on a corporate, whether you are using a corporate machine or a private machine, you have to deny access to bio systems. You need to ensure on a corporate laptop, uh, the drives are encrypted, backups are configured, uh, and backups must be configured to a corporate cloud, you know, because there is for, there's definitely no room on a local PC or, or a different drive for employees to do their own backup. So all this has to be configured. And then if you're using a private uh, device, your home PC or something like that, you need to ensure there's antivirus running, the operating systems are secure with all the latest updates and uh, it has to be configured to a terminal server with at least two-factor authentication and so on. Otherwise, how do we ensure security? So these are all the concerns that a lot of companies are having. Some have started operations without taking certain precautionary measures because they have no choice. So these are all the areas that uh, has to be done in advance because before you even allow uh, companies to work from home. So we have some statistics, okay? So this is what is going on within the office right, there, right now. Even when somebody goes to the office, most of the time they can be distracted by conversations with colleagues, conversations with on their social messenger. Uh, they sometimes might spend time on social network, instant messengers and so on. So as you can see the statistics, when people are going in the office itself, there are uncompromising statistics. So can we imagine what will happen if you move employees uh, to work remotely? Okay, You basically have no monitoring capability on their activities. You are unsure if they are working, not working, what time do they start work, uh, what activities are they doing, are they finishing the activities for the day, um, are they being productive or basically spending a lot of time being idle. So these are some of the statistics that we have based on our past uh, uh, research, based on the events that we do, the, uh, the surveys that we do with our customers and so on. These are basically the concerns for most of the customers. So we are talking about this uncompromising uncom statistics before the pandemic. But right now, during the pandemic, can you imagine uh, how these concerns have multiplied for a company, uh, whether it's a bank or financial institution or government employees and so on. This has been 
this has multiplied i think by more than tenfold of uh, how and how productive is somebody going to be working remotely because um you have no office space you have no colleague you have your family around you your friends around you and how the, how would that make you more productive on a day-to-day -day basis so these are concerns that every employer will have and uh, we have solutions that can actually monitor and ensure productivity is actually uh, you can safeguard productivity so our flagship product basically is uh, search informed risk monitor um one of the key goals about allowing employees work from home is to ensure data is secure. Uh, there is no abuse on, or there's no corporate fraud or any, any incident which could be caused by human factor, accidental um, reasons or accidental or malicious reasons. Uh, working from home is not easy for any employee to monitor, employer to monitor. So we need certain, so our flagship product is our risk monitor. So with our risk monitor, we can actually um, monitor different channels in a PC or a laptop and so on. So we have our, we have mail controller, which actually looks at incoming and outgoing emails. Uh, we can monitor both corporate as well as uh, your private email, uh, for example, Gmail and so on. We also have cloud controller, which actually controls the in and out of uh, sensitive data going into the cloud, coming up from the cloud, and so on. We support uh, platforms such as Office 365, I mean, sorry, OneDrive, Dropbox, and so on. Um, we have instant messenger controller because right now we can see that a lot of people, they like to use there are instant messages on their laptops or desktops, uh, whether at work or at home, because it becomes more convenient, you see, to share, uh, to type and all this kind of thing. You don't need to lift your phone every 10, 15 minutes to uh, reply somebody. So a lot of people get connected on uh, WhatsApp or Viber on the browser, or they download applications and so on. So we can actually monitor file transfers, chats, contact details, um, from instant messengers. So uh, this is a means of uh, protecting your corporate data because it's easier to work on a single platform than to keep using your mobile phone, your laptop, and so on. So we can monitor instant con uh, instant messengers. And for HTTP, HTTP controller, we, we do it quite uniquely because um, we look at post and get requests from uh, HTTP. For example, whatever we type on uh, the browser is monitored and the, re the replies that we get is also monitored. So you can see both ways of traffic. Traffic. Uh, it doesn't only look at just a one-way uh, out outgoing um, traffic on HTTP controller. So that makes us kind of unique because uh, a lot of other solutions, what they do is they just monitor the outgoing. They can't see what is incoming to that PC or to that laptop and so on. So that's what we can do. And then we have device controller. Since we are working from home, um, if the company has not taken any measures, most of the time you don't want to take uh, uh, tough measures like blocking USB device and so on. But we need to still understand the activity that is going on, uh, what kind of data people, uh, employees trying to copy out to their device, uh, to their devices, for example, USB and so on. So uh, device controller basically monitors USB device and so on. And uh, we have indexing workstations. Indexing workstations is important because we need to know exactly what employees are storing on their laptops or desktops. Uh, in this case, if you're working from home, it's most likely a laptop. So we need to understand what are they storing, where is this data being stored, when was it last edited, modified, uh, did they actually uh, delete this information and so on. So indexing workstation is for data at rest. It monitors all the files in your PC or laptop and it can actually give you a full activity details of uh, what uh, an employee did with those files. So it's very important to know, especially when somebody is working from home, they are not in the secure, secure network of their offices. We need to understand what type of activities are they doing. 
And of course, FTP controller um, looks at FTP traffic. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people uh, might or might not use FTP, but if you use it, then yes, we are able to monitor uh, FTP channel as well. Okay. How we be, how our solution is more effective than other data security solutions is that we, if you look at the top, we have these modules called Keylogger, Program Controller, we have Skype Controller, Print, Camera, Microphone, and Monitor Controllers. Um, this is the components or the, the channels that we can actually monitor compared to a lot of other data security solutions. Program Controller, for example, it can monitor all the applications in use in the uh, laptop. It can be used to measure employee productivity. It can, it, it has the ability to look into what kind of applications are being used, how long they were open. Uh, this in one way can measure employee productivity, what they've been doing throughout the day, uh, what type of applications were they using and so on. Other than that, Program Controller also looks at asset and hardware uh, that are installed on your laptop. Uh, if Whether you have antivirus or not, whether you have Microsoft Word, um, I have you install a third-party app which is not allowed in your company and so on. So Program Controller uh, is quite similar to Application Control, but just that we do more, we do both hardware and software as well. And then we also monitor Skype. Okay, we can look at all the historical conversation on Skype. Uh, we can see all the file transfers on Skype. We can see the context on Skype. So as long as you don't delete any conversation on Skype, we have full visibility um, based on what we want to actually see on Skype. Uh, because most of the time Skype is um, sometimes used for corporate purposes. Sometimes you could be chatting with your friends or business partners and so on. So it's important to have visibility on uh, both email as well as uh, instant messengers and Skype and so on. Print controller um, records all the documents that you print, whether it's on your local machine, uh, sorry, local printer or your network printers, or even while you're at home. So print actually monitors um, and the uniqueness about our solution is that we can tell you exactly how many copies were printed on the printers. So uh, this is very important as well. And then we have camera controller, which, um, for example, if you're on a Skype call and so on, we can actually take screenshots of the person to ensure that that's the actual person who is uh, on that Skype call. That's the person who actually has authorization to use that laptop and so on. Our microphone controller is quite unique um, because it can record Skype calls and so on. It can do uh, speech to text conversion and so on. So microphone controller is very important, especially if employees working from home, they are having Skype calls with the business partners or suppliers and so on. And then we have monitor controller. Monitor controller can either record the monitor activities and it can take periodic screenshots. So how this is helpful? We need to ensure that uh, whoever the person, employee who is working on a document or on an application, or when he's logged in to through VPN from home to the office human resource system or financial system, uh, we need to understand exactly what activities they are doing. Okay, and uh, this can be used for investigation, for forensics and so on, because sometimes we might go through situations where, uh, especially at these tough times that we are going through right now, uh, there might be some room or leeway to actually do something which is suspicious, which is illegal or abuse to the system. So we need to ensure that uh, this is the best time or the right time to ensure that security is uh, uh, of utmost concern and priority. So basically, this is our uh, flagship product, our risk monitor. 
and then so what are the objectives and roles you see we, in our solution what we have is um we we can break down the objectives and roles of different modules to control certain aspects of communication and how to analyze information flow for example we have data loss monitor and prevention it actually controls data transfer via different types of communication whether it's email um instant messengers your browsers and so on so this it actually fits into the information security objective uh, information security officers today during this pandemic they are actually going through a tough time especially some of them who are ill prepared uh, they are going through a tough time trying to monitor employees uh, activities and so on so this is the objective and role that we can actually fill with um, our data loss and monitor prevention and then corporate fraud detection um, sad to say fraud will still happen whether we are living in normal days or we are living through a pandemic because there are always people who would like to take advantage of certain situation uh, this will not change regardless of uh, uh, the type of the times that we are living in especially during these tough times there may be people who are more um, capable or they have that urge to do something because uh it's easier to do it right now if you're not working in the office if you're working from your home it's not very hard to steal data and so on or to perform certain type of frauds fraud activity so in such occurrence um the objective and role that our solution actually fits into is for internal audit internal control and for risk managers so these are the people who will find such a tool um very important especially during this time because if i'm working from home how do i monitor somebody it's difficult it's a huge task even if i'm connected to a vpn or something like that if you don't have the necessary tools to monitor then you will not be able to see any violation so that's how it's very important to ensure during this time because we have no idea for how long we will be in lockdown when are the markets uh, the offices going to be open as normal so all this becomes a key concern for information security internal control and risk managers because their task in any given company is to ensure they do not allow um, fraud and so on so monitoring employee productivity um okay uh, let's face face it you know uh, when you're at home you're not going to start at 9 and finish at 6 uh, there's going to be some form of flexibility in between uh, you have your coffee you have your smoke and uh, you have your lunch and all these kind of things sometimes it may not follow the exact way uh that what you do in the office you know you go at 12 o'clock for lunch and come back at 1 here you might take extended 30 minutes at home and so on but it's still important to know exactly what an employee is doing um to measure the productivity maybe uh for critical staffs like finance department for human resource because they have day to day work um even during these times a lot of them are still working on a normal office hours because their work never ends so we need a tool to basically collect and analyze this information concerning work hours what type of applications they are using so it's not just about how many hours we are working it is also to ensure that we are not misusing any applications for the wrong purposes um we are not logging into you know uh, some job search website or some irrelevant websites and we need to know how long and actually how productive they are at work we all understand the fact that when you're at home it's not going to be 9 to 5 it's not going to be 9 to 6 uh you like i said we might take extended lunch hours and so on but the reason to monitor employee productivity is to ensure that they are not misusing any applications or going to the wrong websites and so on so in this um area our solution fits the objectives 
for human resource managers, for internal audit and uh, risk managers as well. So we have a solution that can actually look at employee productivity. How long have they opened their email? How long are they using the micro, uh, their Microsoft Word? What type of applications they have installed and so on. So this is very useful, uh, especially in today's situation. Um, if we don't have a perfect tool to monitor activity or productivity, um, we are basically, we basically won't know anything. If the employee is working from home, then uh, it's easy to say that uh, there is no way to monitor anybody, right? So the other thing, um, today, measuring employee morale. Um, why employee morale is important or critical at this time? Uh, we have a lot of people working from home. Um, you are with your family. You have uh, zero social life. Uh, most of us don't even meet our friends so often anymore. I'm not sure about you guys, but I've not met some of my friends for more than a month. Um, you, you're basically at home. Uh, you hardly go out. You will have some morale or dissatisfaction of sitting in the house. Even I myself feel uh, it's it's not the same. You know, when you're when you're sitting at home working from home and so on. And the only time you can go out is to buy groceries. So you need to understand your employee morale as well. You need to ensure that there are no people who would like to, and no one would want to take advantage of this situation because I'm working from home. Uh, my laptop is not secure. I don't have the necessary tool to monitor anyone. And I have the opportunity to do something, um, damage the company in some way and so on. So how the tool is useful when it comes to this uh, reasons is because uh, we can actually uh, use our tool, our risk monitor to, to inform human resource people, uh, uh, officers especially, because they would like to know how an employee is morally whether he's uh, demotivated, motivated, uh, what type of situation he is. So this is very important during this time. So other than that, the other objectives when going remote, the usage options. Um, there are a few options when uh, of using our risk monitor. If employees work with corporate laptops with our so software installed, we can actually capture this data and transfer it to the internet using a port forwarding on a proxy server. So captured data is actually uh, transferred via the internet using VPN. If employees are working with their personal device from home and they connect to a terminal server or a VDI, we can actually monitor the terminal server and the v or the VDI um, uh, virtual desktop infrastructure. With the install software, it actually transfers all this data to our risk monitor server. So it does not matter whether they are working with their corporate laptops or they are working on their personal devices but connected to a terminal server. We can actually monitor um, and capture data uh, regardless. So these are the advantages uh, when you use risk monitor, especially when you're working remotely. So it's very important to ensure that uh, we are able to capture this information. That is very important because um, a lot of things can go wrong at this moment. So it's important to to be able to capture all this data. So guys, if you guys have any questions, feel, feel free to ask. Um, we have a few more slides to go. So um, what we, we know the small, medium companies, we, we have enterprise clients with uh, tens of thousands of users. Uh, we also have smaller base clients who do not have in-house security specialists. They do not have enough resources for implementation and so on. So how we can help is through our professional services. We have enough uh, technical expertise and engineers to ensure that uh, the solution can be installed 
for our, our clients. Uh, we can also help our partners do the installation. Uh, we also have some partners who are enabled when it comes to implementation and so on. So professional service wise, um, we are fully prepared. We have the resources and we can help you as a partner and we can also have help our end users as well, our customers. So um, you don't have to worry about not having enough specialists or resources for uh, an independent implementation of the solution. So how does it work? Uh, we have a few different ways of uh, implementing our solution. First of all, we have uh, our cloud-based solution and uh, our software and our specialist. That means we can install it on a cloud. We can have uh, our software installed on each machine or laptops. And our security specialists would be there to help you do the implementation, policy creations, uh, reportings, um, and uh, to, to enable all our forensic tools that we have in our software. Second, we can use the client server uh, with our software, with our security specialists or our implementation specialists. Or we can use our clients or partner servers with our specialists, okay? So it can work different ways. Uh, we can work on the cloud, we can work on premise and so on. So uh, we have many different options of uh, implementing the solution based on the needs and uh, uh, convenience of our clients. And depending on what type of implementation architecture that they want, we can make it work for them. So, I mean, sorry that this slide is not very clear, but uh, how does our reporting looks? We have different types of reports, summary to incidents and so on. I, I understand that this slide is not very clear, but we can actually look at different subject matters. Um, we can look at what type of confidential data is being sent. We can look at someone who has been looking through job search. Um, our reportings can be based on forgery of documents. Um, discussion of management, big budget purchases, and so on. So we can group our reporting based on different incidents. Uh, we can actually link certain all these documents or reports into our analytic console, and we can actually look at uh, more uh, investigation purposes. And uh, whenever there's an incident happening in your company, uh, we can actually notify the administrator or the business manager of whoever involved, whichever department it is, on a, on an email. So this is how our reporting looks like. The conclusion about our discuss our presentation today is how do we control employees outside the office? What it is totally necessary. Uh, the situation is so real right now, and uh, it has to be accessible as well. So our main aim is to ensure that we can still help corporate clients or customers um, to protect their work, their data, even though when they're in quarantine, even though they are working uh, on a weekly basis, on a rotation basis at home, we still need to ensure that their data is protected and we can help them uh, protect their data. I know this is a real situation right now. Um, it's no longer like when it started right a few months ago. Right now, you know, it's getting more and more uh, desperate because companies, they still have to continue operations because they need to remain, um, they need to still make some money. You know, you need to still have revenue coming in. So you need to ensure that, you know, certain parts of your business is kept open. And most of the time, the parts of the units of business which has to be open is either production, finance, human resource, the most critical of the departments um, must be open to ensure that operations are continued. So most of the time, these companies, what they're doing right now is they're allowing people to work from home because they have no choice. And a lot of clients are actually ill-prepared. Uh, they have no idea how to do this. And uh, I think our task is basically to try to convince these people, our customers or partners to actually um, 
convince them that you know working from home is not as bad as you think if you have the right tools the right security tools data security tools uh, we need to ensure that uh, this is our goal right now so as i mentioned earlier we, are, we have no idea when this thing will end uh, most likely only when there's a vaccine out or something like that so we don't uh, we can't stop working till then we still have to continue our work and uh, do you guys have any questions so far so feel feel free to type in any questions if you want to ask any questions uh, i am ready to answer hi gansham um we don't have a demo link but uh, if you are a registered partner then we can actually uh, uh, prepare uh, uh, or have a demo unit in install in your office so that's basically how we enable our partners resellers and so on any questions guys do you have anything that you like to ask so i have actually reached uh, the end of our presentation it's a very short presentation today um, i think around 40 minutes but um, based on the situation that we are facing right now uh, this tool is still very important for a lot of companies especially large companies who have been forced to um, make their employees work from home some might have a certain solution but uh, i'm sure most were not prepared for this situation and i would like to thank you all for coming by for attending this webinar today and uh, i hope you guys had some useful uh, points to look at to go back to your uh, partners or clients or anyone to see if there's any need so guys thank you so much